these Elite 3 star the Trophy Match Challenge with this tutorial. After today's attack, you will have 30 stars, so enough to claim all of the all. There is just the Halland statue left to go from these final two challenges. Today's attack does have a leaderboard to beat it with the least amount of troops possible, but let's discuss that whilst I'm showing you how to three star. Before we start, just make sure your Grand Warden is set to ground, since in a previous challenge, we set him to A, and we will start over by the town hall. You can use a rage spell in between the two torches, followed by a giant thrower onto each one of those to bounce through the town hall and builder huts. You might miss one builder hut or so, it doesn't matter. Use a wall break to the left of those, then use a barbarian kicker at six o'clock for the air defense or Tesla, one on the football for the cannon, and one on the barb statue for the left air defense. You want the giant throwers to go down. So once they have, use your queen on the left torch, followed by the five healers. If you had lured all three ice golems from the clan castle, you could poison them, but most of the time that's not the case, so just wait. Once the queen starts attacking the gold mine, use a poison, skeleton spell, sorry, in front of the monolith. Rage as she steps up and press the queen ability, then poison the clan castle troops. You need to have the monolith go down, so use a freeze or the invis on your queen if needed. But once it is down, shift your focus to the left of the base. Use your king, siege barracks, and wall break by the mortar. Next section you need to do fast, so use two fingers if possible. Spread the miners across this entire side. Grand Warden, Hog Riders, Apprentice Warden, and Royal Champion. Then just use your Warden ability and the Rage spell. This will power through this bottom section. King ability. Freeze the single target Inferno. And as they move out of this section, heal over the middle because the Warden ability will be expiring. Once they move towards the back end scatter shot, try and freeze that. You can get multiple other defenses as well, but just make sure you hit that scatter shot. You will probably need to freeze it a second time. And you can use the Royal Champion ability whenever needed. The invisibility spell you can use on your queen but it's also good to use on your royal champion just don't turn the defense invisible you can actually save the warden ability for the middle but i found if you lose too many hogs in the initial stage then it can be trickier to get through the base but you can see you could swag a lot of them to be honest with you this is just to guarantee you get your three stars so best of luck with it my friends have some fun practicing the hybrid attack and as ever if you want to see a youtube recommended video of mine there is one on your screen I'll see you in the next challenge.